call the police department? Um, I have a young lady who's living here with me. Nobody can find her. No one has seen her. No one has heard from her. She didn't show up for work, and I'm just really concerned. What's her name? Gabrielle Clevenger. Gabe would always come in super early to work and she never missed a day. So when she didn't show up, everyone kind of knew, like we all had a pit in our stomach, like something's wrong, like Gabe's not here. Okay, what's going on? It's her husband, Alec Blair. He got very violent with her and um, she has a bunch of police reports that she's filed. So she moved in here um, and she filed for an annulment. She's only been married five months. You two could have uh, seats on the other side of the table. I appreciate you guys coming down. So what led you to call us? Today? Well, um, I called today because uh, my son got a hold of me and said, hey, Alex showed up at the house and Gabe left with Alex. So I called the police because I was very concerned. Okay. And she's been having some problems with uh, threats? To... Um, threats to her life. Um, some of the things that she was telling me was just very alarming. There has been a lot of things that, as far as text messages, she ended up getting a new phone because he was harassing her, um, destroyed her property, everything that she owned, her animals come up missing. Um, I don't know. I know that she was very scared of him, very okay. much. Shelby Police Department. Hello, I received a call from you guys that I missed. Who, who am I speaking with? Alec Blair. Okay. I'm calling in regards to a Gabriel Clevenger. Are you currently with her by chance? No, I'm at work. You're not with her at all? Have no. you seen her today? I saw her earlier. I was talking to her because we were going to try to go to the courthouse for divorce stuff. But she didn't want to, so I left. Okay. And you don't know where she would have gone? I don't know anything about that, no. Okay. Alex said that he dropped Gabe off. However, her phone is pinging essentially at his work. At that point, Shelby PD responded out to where Mr. Blair works to attempt to make contact with him. Obviously, you know, your wife has been yeah. reported missing. Yeah. So, do you have any idea where she could be or anything like that? Honestly, I don't really know. You mind if we look in your vehicle? That'd be fine. All right. Deputy Frazier and I began looking inside the vehicle. A short time later, Deputy Frazier indicated to me that he saw cleaning product on the floor of the vehicle. Uh, okay. And the vehicle appeared to be wiped down quickly. Have you been cleaning in here lately or? No? Okay. Why don't we just have a seat in the back of my car? I just wanted to ask you a couple more questions, okay. all right? I walked over to Alex's vehicle and immediately noticed the large amount of blood along the frame of the seat. The blood. And in the stitching of the vehicle. What's what's going on with all the blood and stuff? It was honestly my friend. Bloody nose. All up in the seat crevices and all over the place? Yeah. You had it really bad yesterday. At that point in time, I asked Alec if he would go to the Shelby Police Department to continue to be asked questions about Gabe, and he agreed. How you doing, man? Good. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, you're on. Officer Turner, okay. tell me a little bit about yourself and then your relationship with your, your wife. Well, she was telling me that, you know, she wasn't happy with, because a lot of stuff had to do with me. Because so I would have anger issues. Okay. From childhood and sure. In my anger I would like punch a, the wall or maybe throw something. Okay. That would be my type like getting out my anger. Right. So when's the last time you saw her? This morning actually. Okay. Tell me about that. How, about how did you see it this morning? Why did you see it this morning? Because I wanted to go to the courthouse mm -hmm. so we can figure out anything with a divorce. 
know, but I'm just going to toss all that stuff. And she didn't really want to at first, but I was trying to talk her into it so we can get it all done and over with. Okay. And then <clears throat> when I did get her, you know, we went to the car. I started going for a little bit, but she just wanted to try to start arguing. I really wasn't in the mood to argue just because I was tired. <laughs> we got to the point. You know, or I did hit her. Okay. And then I did turn down where the golf club, golf course and everything and towards that dead end. That's where I left her. Okay. And All right. She starts bleeding a little bit. And that's the blood that's in your car right now. Right. It's not this other made up friend that you no. said had in those. Okay. It's her blood. We got that. Was it one punch or was it several punches? I don't know. I just kept kind of just going. And this is all in the car. Yeah. Done my habits. That's when I take her out to the cornfield. Okay. And you leave her there. Yeah. In my mind, I'm thinking, okay, maybe there is a chance she is still alive. The highest priority needs to be where is she at? We need to get to her and help her before the situation becomes worse. I thought it was our field. Oh, shit. I kind of went down into a ditch. I uh, just kind of was scanning with my flashlight, and then I found her. He cordoned off the area, and the state crime lab came in. We learned that she had been stabbed 14 times. It explained the amount of blood that we found in the car. It, it kind of helped paint a more clear picture of what actually happened. In short, the reason why we're here right now is have a few follow-up questions. Okay. Things we'd like to ask you get clarified. So. One last big piece of the puzzle here. You're not being honest about the manner in which she was killed. Right. So you agree with me we're not being honest about that? Yeah. How did you kill her? Picked her up, went to my house on Taylortown, where I was gonna grab my lunch and stuff. Went up to get my headphones, and I grabbed this pocket knife, and went back outside got back in the car and I don't know what got into me to do anything. I didn't want to do anything, honestly, to her at all. But then, you know, when she was answering the questions I was trying to give to her, it just kind of blacked out and I decided contemplating, honestly, with that. Contemplating hurting her? Yeah. This pocket knife you had, did you stab her with it? Yeah. How many times did you stab her with it? Honestly, I couldn't tell you how many times. That's when I kind of blacked out. Did you stab her until she was dead? Yeah. Okay. This is the culmination of everything we've had so far. We've got him to confirm it with the magic words, I did it, I stabbed her to death. I was happy that we came to the resolution of the case we did, but at the end of the day, it's still a tragedy that a young woman who had her whole life ahead of her was just viciously murdered. If Gabe were here right now, I would start by saying I love her, um, but, and that we all miss her, and that we're sorry that she had to go through that.